check out this clip from the Howard Stern Show. Robin has not been in the studio. How long has it been, Robin? It's been over a year. Do you want to fill the audience in on what happened since then so that they understand why you haven't been in the studio? Uh, sure. Oh. There was a, a mass in my pelvis. About. Robin told me before the operation that it was cancer, that they tested this uh, thing that was inside of her, this, uh, what did they call it? A, a, a tumor. A, a tumor. So they had said to you, uh, gee, one of the possibilities is if they have to uh, be really invasive, you might never be able to, to even go to the bathroom again or something, right? Uh, yeah, and this wasn't a, a peeing thing. This was a stool thing. They right. were saying that they might have to remove my colon. I've always been a quality of life kind of person, and I didn't want to live in a in a certain state. Yeah, well, I, I'll tell you how serious this was. I was, like, already making funeral arrangements, okay? <laughs> that, that's how, I mean, th- not to make light of this situation. I mean, I didn't know what was going on. It was just... Just the most awful, awful thing ever. It was sounding very dire. When you say they didn't know what it was, like at first maybe they thought it was uh, like ovarian cancer or but they, they weren't sure, right? Right. The people I was originally working with had never seen that before. It was so rare and what she had. Yeah. You really, really need to trust all of the people and you need to trust the treatment. So what was it they said to you at Sloan Kettering that was different? The, what that was different was that they had seen what I had before, and we're going for a cure. As Robin tells this story, I now get chills again because I remember feeling very um, uh, distraught. And the fact that Robin was told that they could go for a cure was it gives you hope. Robin means more to me than anything, and, you know, with her, seeing her go through this just tore me up, I'll be honest. Let, let's get to the miraculous part of this. About three months ago, I go into my doctor's office. She just looks at everything. She goes, you're cured. Fully cured. You're done yeah. because you're cured. What? The thought of of losing you or uh, it, was just, it was unbearable. I just would get into a tremendous uh, crying jags. I mean, you really, you know, people don't understand how the people who love them save their lives. For more, check out Sirius XM Satellite Radio and Howard TV On Demand.